first time I ran was in 92 in a car for Bob Parker that was being taken care of by Glenn Nibel, and I ended up crashing on lap 70-something. And I spent the rest of the race in the infield watching the race. And Glenn was a monster of a man. And he threw his arm around me, and he said, what did you learn tonight? I said, well, I learned I don't make very much money when I'm standing in the infield watching the race. And he said, you have to be patient. You have to be aggressively patient. And that was something that stuck with me. The next year I came here with the USAC Sprint car that we had been running with my dad and Tony Epperson. And we didn't change tires. We used our head, we stayed out of trouble, and we saved the tires and we won. I thought, well, this is easy. And then the next few years I found out the little 500 giveth and the little 500 taketh away. Then I got hooked up with Jack French in 98 and uh, we won and we didn't change tires the whole race. We then finished second and third. And then we sat down and put our own deal together and decided that we were going to approach the race differently. We were going to become very aggressive with the race. Instead of being a marathon, we were going to treat it as three separate sprint car races, the beginning, the middle, and the end. And we clicked off of several wins, and uh, luck still has a lot to do with it. You could just be riding around minding your own business. Somebody will get into you. That's part of what draws me to this race, is the unknown. You can't describe it. You always show up with a plan, then the green flag drops. And that plan usually goes out the window.